Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another edition of Spring Hill Valley! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put things going on today. As you can see, it is 6.22 in the evening, not the morning. Uh, and we do have to deal with a couple of things. Alright, first of all, we have this cornfield way down here. This is... what cornfield is it? Uh, I need to figure it out. Ah, 24 I believe it is. Uh, so we're way down here at field 24, and this guy is currently running, making a heck of a noise. Uh, <laughs> this is field 24. Uh, yes, I'm not losing my mind. And we have our corn header on here uh, for our new Holland. And I figure we should go ahead and harvest this corn because it's been chilling out here, uh, doing nothing for the time being. So it makes good sense to harvest the corn. Uh, I think there's actually a great demand for corn on right now as well at the brewery. So, let's see if we can't get this field done by the end of this episode. So let's go ahead and hop into our New Holland here. There we go. Always gotta love that uh, feature right there. Uh, let's just see the size of this field. Let's just get into the field first. And then we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that's a nice little graphic on there. Alright, perfect. So... Let's go ahead and set this guy up. So let's hit him to do... What is this? Field 24, I said it was. So, set him up for 24. Sure, overwrite the previous one. Working with is... That one. 24, starting corner. Let's see. Northwest, maybe? Let's try northwest. Heading, I don't know. South. And let's make him do... I don't know. Three headlands seems like a good good spot to start. Alright, let's see. Where is the starting point? Oh, that's pretty good. I thought it was going to be way off in the middle of nowhere, but that's not too bad at all, actually. So We're going to have him set him do three headlands just so we can unload him easily, which is the whole idea here. And apparently he cannot find that first spot. Is he set so he's offset or something? Did I set it so it just act afterwards? I don't think so. Ah, he's missing a chunk. Oh, I know why. I set it up so nearest point, not first point. I was trying to figure out, I'm like, what the heck is he doing there? Is he going, like, around in the middle of nowhere? But no, it's just because I set it up incorrectly. Which is bound to happen. It's funny, I haven't, uh... I've recorded so many episodes in advance, I didn't play for a little bit there, so... It's kind of funny when you uh, get a chance to sit down and actually play again, so... You get this kind of feeling like, oh, did I miss something? And obviously that's one of those scenarios where he did miss something, so. Anyways, let's hop into the John Deere here. Fire him up here again. And while that combine's doing its thing, we will unload him as per necessary. Actually, this is a nice little location uh, because we are, I believe, relatively close to, yeah, we're not too far away from our uh, storage area up there. Actually, we can just sell it directly now that I think about it. Uh, so we will do that instead because we do need a little bit of extra money. It's always nice to have just a wee bit. And uh, if you recall, I believe he hasn't quite done, uh, got 80% yet. But I believe we were contemplating whether to buy a new field or not in the previous episode. Uh, like I said, it has been a little bit of time since I've played. So that's the reason why I can't 100% remember what we were going to do. So, I believe I was contemplating as to whether to buy 34, 33, 34, 33 we can buy, 34 we can't, because we don't have quite enough money, uh, but I was considering selling field 3, which is the one we just harvested not too long ago, we would get 33,000 for that, so. Where did he go? It's funny. A lot of people giving me some good suggestions, uh, saying stuff like, you should, you know, go around the field X number of times, which is always a good suggestion because uh, often what happens is you uh, you don't get quite enough. Oh, maybe uh, interesting. How full is he then? Only 40%. Now that's interesting because I did uninstall a couple, I took a couple maps out of my map directory or my mods folder basically uh, because I was concerned that they were I want to say conflicting with the amount of material we were actually getting 
Uh, so I just, you know, just as a precaution, I tried it out to see what was happening. Because I think what was happening before is we were getting probably more than we should have been getting. And I think it was because of another ma map, I think, in the end. So uh, that's the reason why I, uh, I am somewhat interested to see whether uh, it would make a difference or not if I uh, took those maps out. And it looks like it has so far. Uh, not 100% on that, but uh, he's having a hard time turning there, apparently. Yeah, just a little bit. It looks that way, at least. I don't know, it's hard to tell sometimes with these, uh, uh, with the little hills. Because some tractors will have no problem, or some headers will have no problem going out around the hill. Some other ones will. Like, this is kind of like a bit of a round field, so it would be... Mm, somewhat difficult to do, I guess. Uh, but of course, in a real combine, you would probably just adjust the head and keep going. Uh, whereas in this game, you don't you don't always have that option. It really depends on the mod itself, right? Because some mods do have that amazing capability. Like I know the big boss modding ones do, uh, but these ones, this one specifically, does not. Just to drive better here. Going a little off course here. Uh, one of the downfalls, I think the, uh, if you remember from the developer version of Course Play, it has the feature where you can um, get the driver to stop while he's unloading. That only works if you're using Course Play to, I don't, yeah, it only works if you're using Course Play to unload the combine as well. And as we discovered in the past, this particular uh, trailer tractor combination doesn't work well with Course Play, so. Well, the, the version of course play I have because I have the developer version for those people who are keeping track. So that's probably pretty good. Keep him going for a little bit of time there. I don't know how full he actually is here. Oh, he's not doing too badly. That's good. Anyways, gonna go through a couple of the comments from the previous episode. I haven't done this in a while because I've been so far ahead and uh, I just felt like going through some of the comments. Uh, so here we got NH12, he was talking about, um, he was giving suggestions as to how to actually harvest or seed the field, and he was saying going around like two or three, or, I think he said up, actually up to four times uh, before actually going up and down the field, which makes sense in that scenario. Uh, he says he's from Ireland, so their main crop in Ireland apparently is grass, I guess it's for biogas and whatnot, so pretty cool. What else do we got? Uh, Randy, R.D. Allen, um, if memory serves, uh, he says, you would sow three headlands on each end of the field and then go up and down the field. That makes sense. That's probably something that would uh, make the most sense, I would suspect. Uh, Philip asks me to harvest field 10, 33, and 27. I don't know. Which one? 10? We don't own that field, so that's the reason why I haven't harvested those fields yet, Philip. Is because we don't own those fields. Uh, that is the primary reason why. Just one of those things. I just the way I like to play, I guess. I like to make it more difficult than it needs to be to a certain extent. Uh, Mr. Mason, Imasal, he says, in the UK they would seed up and down the field and leaving spaces around the headlands to turn around and then after seed. The headlands. So there's a couple different, um, couple different concepts here. One of them is going up and down the field first, then doing headlands. Another one is do, doing doing headlands first and then going up and down the field. Although, like as I mentioned, I think in the previous one of the previous episodes, that if you were to go um, do the headlands first, you'd be driving over stuff you've already seeded. So in my mind, it makes more sense to do them at the end. But Ian Inglis, I think you say his last name as. Uh, he talks about plowing a little bit in the front reach of tractors. Uh, Mason, he suggests putting a couple of sheds um, at a clearing behind the farm, and you can store my hay and hay equipment back there. So let's just jump over to the Massey. Uh, somewhere behind the farm. Let's grab this guy right here and get him off the field. For those people who are wondering, that's the picture I took for this for the screenshot for the thumbnails. Um, I took that a while ago. Uh, but I haven't moved the tractors since apparently, so that's the reason why they're there. 
Uh, so, Mason suggests behind the farm. So let's just go take a quick peek at what he's talking about. I, does he mean... Which side? Does he mean back there, maybe? Or does he mean on that side over there? I think he means in the... I think he means back here. Well, that's in the cow field, so... Clearing behind the farm. So there's that clearing, which is the cow pasture, technically. And then there's... Oh, maybe that right there. That could work, actually. I don't know if... I have to check to see which buildings I have. I think I only have one building, and it's just a wee bit too big for this map. Um, <clears throat> if I think about it right. It's the same building I think I used in the Ameri All-American Farm. Uh, maybe this clearing right here. This might work, actually, well. So I'm always, some people are saying this is a good place for placeables, uh, such as uh, greenhouses and whatnot. Uh, might be a good idea to do that. Well, that could work, actually. Uh, let's just take a quick peek as to what buildings I actually have, because I'm not actually sure. Uh, placeable... Machines... Placeable objects. Placeable mods. Where's placeable mods? There we are. I passed it already. Uh, that could work. But it is pretty... Pretty huge, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if it's gonna let me place it over there. Uh, where am I here? <laughs> that might be a little bit big for this map. Just a tinsy wincy bit. Apparently, well, it's not gonna let me place it. I can place it right. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be just enormous for this map. So, yeah, I'll have to pick up some other mods. Um, to put it in a decent placeable down, but this is definitely a good place to put it right in here. So I'll leave this guy here for the time being, hop over back to here. So I think our new Holland is pretty... where is he here? Is he stuck? He is... not quite full yet, so what we'll do is we'll wait for him to make a pass around the other side so we can uh, not drive through the crops if at all possible. And while we're reading, let's go through a couple, a couple other comments here. Uh, Tractor Driver 247 says they planted a few fields last year, and most have ditches around them, so we just got as close as possible. Yeah, that's a lot. A lot of people do it that way. Just get as close as possible to the ditches, um, because obviously you don't want to go in the ditch, but you want to get as close as possible to maximize how much of the field you can use. A couple people were saying about uh, actually. Uh, removing uh, br brush is what I'm com what comes to mind. Bushes and whatnot around the edges of fields, uh, so you can maximize how much you could get. Which is a good point. Uh, so, for example, like these right here, they would just take them out and then increase the size of the field. And I technically, I could do that. I could increase the size of the field here a little bit uh, by taking a plow to it, but it is already tight enough for me on these far on this farm so I think I'm going to forego doing that he's not doing a bad job actually obviously he's missing a little bit but not, not nothing too crazy so I'm pretty pleased with that I could do it myself I suppose as well but uh, well, of course place doing a decent job uh, tractor driver said something else what was he saying he says I asked him about his, I think his cedar, I think I was asking him about. And he was saying he has a decent cedar, and I was asking how difficult it was. And he said it's not too bad, um, because they have auto steer in his, track, in his tractors, but... Uh, oh, he said he didn't need it just because the, uh, the way he was seeding wasn't uh, necessary to have it. Which makes sense, you know, in some situations it's not necessary, so... I was talking to my brother-in-law the other day, and I was asking him, he planted soybeans in his field. Uh, he has like one big field, I think it's like 50 acres worth, and I was asking him like how, uh, how did it go? Because I think it's his, I think it's his first time planting soybeans, and uh, from what it seems, the soybeans are looking really nice this year for him, uh, and my sister-in-law technically, so. Uh, what's the best way to get around here? I guess, can you go that way? I don't think you can go to the... 
Well, maybe you can. <clears throat> uh, well, let's give it a go and see what happens. Yeah, so he planted soybeans and he did it all himself with like a, I think it's like a 10 foot seed drill. Um, and I asked him how long it actually took because his field's fairly large, like 10 feet's big enough for the size he was using, but it just seemed like it was super, super small. When in reality, it's not. I guess I'm used to playing uh, this game where, oops, I didn't want to go straight. I'm used to playing this game where, oh, I can go straight here, sweet. Uh, I play playing this game where you have some crazy large equipment and it doesn't seem like anything, but in real life it's a lot more difficult to upgrade equipment than it is in this game, that's for sure, so. Uh, maybe I do want to go up there. Hmm. But he said it only took him a few nights to plant 50 acres worth of soybeans, so. It's their first time doing soybeans, uh, so I'm pretty interested to see how it actually goes for them. Uh, I was asking how they, uh, how they, how it worked out for them in terms of uh, spraying and whatnot for weeds, and he actually sprayed a bit early because he was getting some, some good weed pressure in his area, so he sprayed earlier. Oh, look at that! That's random. That's really strange. Maybe that's supposed to be a spring or something. What if you could actually turn that? I guess that's supposed to be like a... Probably not, but that would be pretty cool if you could turn that. No, I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> to change the water levels. Anyways. Um, yeah, I said it was, wasn't too bad. So he actually sprayed a bit earlier uh, than some other people in, in their area. So, Oh, it's for this field. Well, I didn't want to go to this field, but what field is this anyways? 27. That's not a bad field. And now I'm heading away. Wow, look at the size of this field. 28. Can we buy 28? I don't think so. It looks pretty big. Well, actually, not too far away. We might be able to get it from this. I should have gone the other way, apparently. But it gives us a chance to check out some of the other fields. I don't know. There's so many small little interestingly shaped fields in this map that I really think it's kind of cool because I'm used to playing on, I guess, more North American style maps, which tend to be square, which is fine. I don't mind square maps, but uh, or square fields, I should say. But it's interesting to see um, the detail I can go into some other places. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the other place here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's so funny trying to find my way around this map. It is a. Uh, it makes me laugh every single time because I try to find my my way around somewhere, and it's just like. That took a lot longer than it needed to. So, like, we came from, like, 24 down here, and we went, like, all the way up in there. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going. 48,000. It's not too bad. Alright, now let's see if we can make this quicker by going this way, maybe. I don't know. This doesn't seem to be any quicker so far, but we'll find out in a second here. I do like the way this map looks, though. I like the, uh... Uh... No, I don't want to go that way. It's nice to see the different types of uh, textures they decided to use. I don't know, for whatever reason, I really like the way the grass looks on this map. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why, but... It's just pretty cool. Nope, this probably wasn't faster. Somebody was saying that in one of the previous episodes that using your, uh using a keyboard is makes this more difficult. It definitely does. Uh, well, driving these narrow roads, and they're saying using a, a, a steering wheel makes your life a lot easier, especially for doing this type of narrow road stuff, because your turns are obviously smoother and whatnot, so that makes an awful big difference, especially when you're trying to uh, make small adjustments as opposed to enormous adjustments, right? So, how's that Oh, he's done. Wow. Yeah, that, it must have been... Uh, I'm curious to see whether or not it was because I had one of the other maps installed. Um, because that seemed to... Oh, there we go. That seemed to have uh, a lot less yield than what we had before. So it must have been some sort of conflict with uh, one of the previous maps we had or something. I don't know. Or a script or something along those lines. Who knows? 
So we got like less than two loads out of that, so just to give you an idea. It's not going to load. Watch this. There we go. Doesn't make any sense why that's the case, but oh well. Ah well. Alright, while he's doing that, let's just take a look at... Do we have anything, any other fields that we haven't har oops, that we haven't harvested yet? I don't think so. Field three we have already harvested. Let's go to growth. Uh, Twenty six is we don't own. Are the sheep actually down here too? Oh, they are. So what we may do is uh, someone's suggesting that we get a few sheep this time around because we haven't raised sheep in a while. So let's go ahead and get I don't know ten to start off. Or maybe more. I forgot how cheap sheep were in comparison. How much is 50 sheep? Not that expensive. Alright, so we have 50 sheep and all they take is a little bit of <laughs> grass and that's it. Uh, so what we can do is we can uh, drop one of the dry hay bales we have over in the main farm. I guess I could cut this last little bit here. Just laying around, so. And we're kind of heading this direction anyway, so. But that's not too bad, considering. Just little bits here and there. I know Auto Tractor does a better job, but I uh, didn't have much luck with Auto Tractor last time I tried, so. Maybe it's different now, and I'll have to give it another go, but for the time being, I'm going to stick with Course Play, because it's working well. You know, a few hiccups here and there, as, as I would expect from a developer version, but all in all, it's pretty solid, I have to admit. Uh, for me, at least. Uh, but like before, I've, what I've done s since learning more about the uh, developer version is every time I have a new piece of equipment that I'm not sure with, I always save the game first, because if you don't, then you definitely will... Uh, and it crashes, for example, you'll definitely be a, a little annoyed, because you'll lose your... Lose your, uh, your save, or your progress, I should say. So, Alright, let's get this off the field. And what I was thinking about doing, because the sheep are down here, do we own 25? I think we do. I don't think it's seeded as anything, though. Oof, just barely. Alright, let's put this on the trailer over there, and... Go from there. I don't think there's anything planted in field 25, so we could plant grass over there. Or grass where we are right now. Is it stuck with it? Don't know why it seemed like it was stuck there for a second, but it definitely did. Alright. Uh, there we go. That's lowered. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't lower the header any more than that with this particular combine, so... Makes me a bit sad, but... It is the way it goes sometimes. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. But... And uh, for those who are wondering, yes, that says Kloss there. Uh, obviously, this was built on the Kloss. I think it's a Kloss Dominator. Um, that's the reason why there's that there, as opposed to New Holland. All in all, though, it's still a pretty solid mod, considering. This is so much easier than the other header trailer we were using. It's, it's just silly how much easier it is. Like, when you consider the difficulty I had... Like in the first episode, just navigating around with that trailer, this makes a world of difference. Although it doesn't appear to be locked. There we go. Good thing it didn't fall off. That would have been slightly annoying. Alright, let's take this back to the farm, and we'll see if we have some hay bales over there that we can put into the TMR mixer. I'm pretty sure we do, but I'm not 100%. That's this way, and then this way. Yep, totally driving with the map on, <laughs> because it's not a square. But, it is nice scenery, so... Yeah, I definitely, uh, I'm, con <laughs> I'm convinced uh, that it's because I had the other maps installed, and I think they were affecting the yield, because that, what we got off that field made a lot more sense than what we got off other fields. So they're strong. And I think that's the dry grass. Oh. Dry grass in there. Yes. 
So, well, what's this over here? These are silage bales. I'm going to have to make some more dry hay soon. Hmm. Yeah, let's go take a quick look. So this is silage. Three. Wow, really? Okay. Apparently I can move that four foot bill like it's a feather. Anyway, so we got that. Uh, what else do we have? We have these ones over here. So we do have some. And there's our trailer we can probably sell at some point. And yeah. I think, yes, we're going to have to do that. I think we'll do that next episode, actually, because we are running out of time this episode. What we'll do is, where are the, oh, they're right there. It's funny, I was watching a YouTube video the other day uh, by the Funky Farmer, I think his name is. He's from the UK, and he was showing how... Um, he was showing how silage forks work. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, <clears throat> so it wasn't this style, style right here. It's just like the little uh, pincer style, I guess you can call it. So basically what it was is instead of it being like two arms like this, they were just two straight poles, and they would go uh, towards the center and then towards the outside, basically. So it was pretty cool. He was just showing how they worked. Uh, I've never seen that style. Uh, my brother-in-law has this style right here, where it's got the it's the grab. This is the style he's got. So this is what I'm used to a bit more. Probably should have put a weight in the back of this, but it seems to be okay with this. It's funny I've seen people move some really really heavy silage bales like baling uh, like an oats pea mix for example and then moving it with a small tractor would just be a nightmare because like I've seen them being moved by a big tractor and the big tractor oh there's something already in there that's probably mixed rations to begin with so that might uh, let's just connect to that and see what's actually in there now. I think it's TMR, like a good mixed ration, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just connect to it here and we'll see what it's in there. I'm pretty sure it's for the cows though, so. Whoa. Wrong way, Ian. Wrong way. This is what happens when you're trying to go forwards and you, may, and you go backwards. Jeez. I guess I'll have to straighten out. You really can't connect to that? Hmm. Now I have to try and move it out of the way. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> there we go. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. And now let's finally connect to that TMR mixer because I'm really curious what's in there. Huh, it's weird. It feels like the front tires are it's having gripping problems or something. It's strange. Oh, it is a mixed ration. Okay, cool. So I guess we can give that to the sheep. That's probably going to be more than enough. Probably going to be a waste of TMR, but uh, it'll get the job done. So what I'll do is I will take this down to the sheep farm uh, between this episode and the next, and then we'll give our sheep a bit of TMR. All right, guys, that's it for today. My name is Ian Rops. It's been Farming Simulator 2013. Coming at you from Spring Hill Valley. Catch you guys later.